So uh, since no one has seen the film yet, we're asking people to do a 15 second quick synopsis of the film. If anyone could volunteer for that. 1941. 1941. Self. Him. Me. Love. Love. Evil. Evil. Murderer. <laughs> drug, Jews. sex, murder. In 1941. Racial none, tension. None drugs, sex, murder. Prejudice. World War II. Wrong War judgment. Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's 15 Maggie, I know you've been working on this film for a long while. So what initially drew you to the Treba novel? The relevance of the story today um, was very powerful, but I love all the female characters all, and the friendships and the relationships and the turmoil between the women. The secrets and the intimacy and the way friendships change our lives, particularly among women, was really of interest to me. What surprised you all most about exploring this time in America's history? I was playing a black maid in the 40s, and I was surprised at how invisible I had to be. Um, not just sort of not seen, but in my spirit, there was a kind of shrinking that had to happen, where literally I could be in the room, but no one would see me. That was a survival mechanism, I think, for people of color then. I didn't know that sort of in my body. That was surprising. So Julianne and Taka, Taka. I want to know how did you come to understand your characters? I, I had no difficulty uh, in understanding my character's mm -hmm. feeling because Julianne is very beautiful. So being my character, it's very easy, as a, as a man. Yeah. <laughs> it was a beautiful story, and I love the discovery that, that these two characters have with each other and then themselves. And I also, I love that Maggie chose to cast Taka. He does such a wonderful job. Taka's from Japan, and in the movie, he's, he's American. He's Japanese-American, born in, in this country. By casting Taka, he brings such a sense of a, a beautiful difference, which would really be that experience of another, you know, Japanese American in, in that time, in that place. And that was kind of beautiful to witness and, and watch unfold. The yeah. actor who plays my son in this film is literally a war hero. He uh, was in a car in Iran that got hit by a bomb, and his other four army friends were killed. And he passed out, and when he came to mm -hmm. in a hospital, discovered that he had been burned from head to toe and he does comedy, stand-up comedy, and he calls himself a well-done comedian. This is a brave, evolved human being that we were all privileged to have in the movie. And I'm a lady who's been hurt by the enemy. The enemy has taken my life, my possibility of grandchildren, my son's life. And so then there's a good question. Where is the enemy? Who is the enemy? How do we perceive the enemy? These are fantastic questions that are laid in a very entertaining and beautifully written way. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos to The Hollywood Reporter.